All right. I don't think I have done a live on Twitter or live on X rather in such a long time that you obviously have to know that this is <laughs> something that is really upsetting me for me to be able to jump on here. I think I have, when I say tried to take the high road over the last couple of months to the point that it has given me a nosebleed, I, I, I am, I am, I have like nothing left here and there is so much that I would like to say and there is so much that I am fighting for my right to say but today I just feel like we crossed into another territory everyone can see what's happening uh, everyone can at first see the public attacks on me over my not like I shouldn't even say it's a belief just the truth that Christ is king and something that I will never stop saying as a Christian nothing that I will apologize for but these attacks against me and my character have not stopped. And I think partially it's being driven by the fact that they have not been successful. It has not, there's obviously a very real attempt to smear and to libel me out of existence, to make my audience not want to follow me anymore. And there is an entire network working behind the scenes to make that happen. But a couple of days ago, um, my PR person received a tip from someone that a Daily Mail journalist who I had never heard of was asking weird questions about me, like basically working on a hit piece. Now, I want to be clear here. I do not at all blame the journalist. I don't blame the Daily Mail. I read the Daily Mail. I used to write op-eds for the Daily Mail. So I am not saying this as like, I'm here just a Daily Mail. I understand that when somebody is leaking stories and claiming to have an inside track or some inside knowledge about someone, it is tempting for a journalist to get involved. But to this level, it's I, I've just never seen anything just more fictitious and made up and someone that is going to publish something or, or, or thinks that they have a story here when everything that they have learned has been wrong. So I'm going to read you the email that I received from this Daily Mail reporter because we were like, what is this about? Like, actually, what are, could you possibly be writing about that hasn't already been written about me leaving the Daily Wire? Well, here's what they wrote. Oh. <sighs> I am currently writing a story focused on how Candace Owens came to leave the Daily Wire. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder what or who is behind the story. Any response, either in an official statement or from sources close to Candace on the following information would be greatly appreciated. We have heard from multiple sources that Candace's dismissal from the Daily Wire was in large part, quote unquote, financial that her show just wasn't making the company enough money to justify continuing her employment. It is also claimed that she quote unquote, blamed producers for her show's failures and that she refused to work with certain advertisers. We have also heard that senior management felt they had a moral obligation to terminate Kansas employment due to what has been described as her increased anti-Semitism and her conspiracy theories. Others have said, that Candace was mean to and mistreated the junior staff members at the Daily Wire, including, ready guys, makeup artists and interns. One source described a scene in which Candace allegedly threw a canned drink at someone. Okay. <laughs> like, just, I, that, I mean, I am just, this is sending me. This is sending, I'm now throwing canned drinks at employees, mean to junior employees, yelling at the makeup artists. <laughs> Separately, what would Candace say to claims that she has been homophobic and anti-Semitic, particularly on her social media, and that she has peddled conspiracy theories? So here is what is clearly happening. The attacks on me over me not backing down on being a Christian are failing. So now we're just moving to full-on character mischaracterations. I have worked in politics for now eight years, if you think that if there is a single person, a single person that wishes to come forward and to say that I mistreated them, I welcome you to do it. I am the exact opposite human being. This is the most absurd thing that I've ever read in my entire life. The idea that I threw a canned drink at someone and it was fine and it, it just flew, like that employee didn't have a lawsuit that they could have like, it, it is literally just invented in someone's head as part of a character attack on me. Now I will tell you this, I am unbelievably close to my team at the Daily Wire. I am still close with my team at the Daily Wire. I still speak to my team at the Daily Wire. In fact, this past weekend, I was at the wedding of the most junior person at the Daily Wire, this young girl named Markella, who I absolutely love to work with every day. The makeup artist left the Daily Wire with me and is still working with me. Her name is Evelyn. My producer, my executive producer, I had the same one for the entire time that I was at Daily Wire. She is on maternity leave. And when I just called her and told her this, she was like, 
nobody contacted me for this story and I am your executive producer. Like who is planting the story, right? So I am not gonna speculate because I don't need to speculate. I think everybody can see clearly what is happening here. Everybody knows what is going on here. And we're getting to the point where this is just torturous interference. This is basically like, I want to make it so that nobody will work with you. And since I know that Candace is a really hard worker and I know that people actually love her and that her entire team loves her, we're going to pretend it's the opposite so that other people who might want to work with her go, mm, maybe not. She's like throwing canned drinks at people. She just gets angry at makeup artists and just like throws a soda pop. She's just like, take this Coca-Cola. I don't like the way my lashes are done today. That's, that is the that is the actual phase that we are at now in the absolute desperation to defame me and to tarnish my name for the simple fact that I won't be apologizing for saying Christ is King. Christ is King, my friends. We're saying Merry Christmas again, and we're saying Christ is King, okay? So go on, write the article. I responded fully and gave them proof and contacts of every single person on my team that they could speak to directly shockingly they didn't even they didn't contact not only my producer my associate producer the junior associate nobody that actually worked on my day-to-day -day team for three years was contacted so who's leaking this what do you guys think who do you guys think is leaking this story suggesting that i would ever mistreat an employee ever it's not in my dna okay you guys know i'm my granddad's girl like my grandfather was a janitor that swept floors the idea the concept of me treating someone badly that is an employee, I, I, I would I would rather die into myself than treat somebody badly. I am I am the exact I have the opposite problem. I'm actually too nice sometimes. It's not easy for me, even when people um, you know, should be reprimanded. I usually pawn that task off to my husband because I just I don't like to do it. It makes me uncomfortable. I want people to be happy. It's why nobody ever leaves me. This is why the people that work with me have worked with me for years, like actual years from my creative director to my assistant, who's not my manager. People stick around because I treat them well. And I take a lot of pride in that. So the worst part of this hit piece to me, forget the part about saying I'm anti-Semitic, racist, homophobic. that's just like it's 2024. You got to catch them all. You're being called out every week. But to suggest that I would ever treat people badly, um, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm literally just not going to stand for that. So that's it. Christ is Lord. And I just wanted to update you guys on that. And like I said, I am fighting for my voice. And when my show comes back in a couple of weeks, I'm going to, I'm going to breathe some fire like a dragon because it's, to me, it's just time. And I, again, have tried to be so calm and take the high road and allow everybody to be speaking about me and speaking about my life for months. But this is just a bridge too far. Thanks, guys. <coughs>